Hi everybody and welcome to another workshop update. Now for today we've got something special. We've got the guys at WCC's Windsor Car Club that have come down to Autobody Technique. So let's go ahead and see where Bob is. Well actually we're not really going to have to go too far. Bob, come into frame my friend. B, how's it going? Hey um, everyone, how you all doing? Doing well my friend. So shall we um, have a look at what we've seen so far? Let's have a look. We've got, some st uh, we've got a stunning collection of cars come from uh, WCC. Let's have a look. Let's just, let's just hit them with it. Let's start down here. So what we got down here? So we've got a GT3, we got a Ferrari, we got GT3 RS. That just been speaking to a customer, the owner about oh a customer, he's not a customer, but he's an owner. The owner of that and that is paint to sample, telling me the whole story of it, watching the whole build process. Absolutely amazing story. NSX, come on man, you don't see those very often now. We got two today. We had another one to turn up a little moment ago. Don't, 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 don't spoil the surprise. We'll, 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 we'll walk up there. A McLaren, a Lotus, another GT4 there. What else we got? Another McLaren. Camaro. Even some American muscle. Got some American muscle. Go over onto this side. What have we got down here? Got this. I think that's called Voodoo, Voodoo Blue. And we've got Drew here. How you doing? One of the organizers. How you doing, Drew? And Ruben, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Uh, these are the organizers of WCC. And uh, guys, tell us more about what you guys have organized down here and how it's all going. So this is our launch event for Windsor Car Club, which we're just trying to appeal to the local audience. Um, we brought down our 997 today, 997.2 if you know what that is. It's meant to kind of look like a sport classic, but it's a originally a 997.2 Carrera 4S. Tell us more about that plate. If you don't know so, what it says, come on. It's Y33 ha, so yee ha, funny enough. And it was bought back in 2001. And since my dad's American, he thought it was a good idea. So when did the uh, car club start up? Oh, when did you guys set it up? Must have been October. Yeah, it must have been October. End sometime. of October, start of October oh, so time. Just literally Fairly a few room. months yeah. now. Yeah. And, and you've grown into... Yeah. And planning, planning yeah. the first event So you've since. grown, well, there must be about 60 cars here at the time, at, yeah. at this moment here, right? GT3 RS was surprising. We didn't know it was coming. He saw it from a friend. And that was probably the most surprising thing. Other than that, this was quite a cool turnout. A 991 Speedster has a GT3 RS engine inside of it. So, yeah. I think I'm most surprised about the NSX's turn up. There's a pair yeah, two of them. NSX's, that's, that's nice. Bunch of quality cars mm. down here, so no, fair play to you guys. Interesting Thank to see what's turned in, up. Yeah. Some stuff expected and some not. So, uh, yeah, we've got our uh, pink baby there. We don't call it pink, it's called Ruby Stone um, TVR. Yeah, he's actually driven that car here with no headlights. No, joking, that's one of our cars. Uh, what else we got? Uh, 458 Speciali. Let's have a look at that. Um, I think it just looks bonkers, looks mad. I think uh, the, the, the discs on this car must be bigger than my, my bicycle wheels. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, yeah, here's that, um, here's that Alpha we were just talking about. The 4C. Yeah, really like those things. Uh, what else we got down there? What else? We've got the Giardo right next to you there. Lambert. Here's the other NSX. So, shame they couldn't park them both together. That would have been a really good picture there. Uh, but we'll see if they can do that later on. But that's that's beautiful. That's really cool. Even even now, we still got some cars coming yeah. in. We still got more and more and more coming in. Uh, what else we've we got, got a nice here? little STI over here on the right. Oh yeah, just a 
a little bit undercover. Uh, doesn't like to be noticed. But yeah, this car looks absolutely mad. The, the guy who owns it is just running off. He doesn't want to be on camera, but we'll he's shout out to him. He's already panicking. We'll, he's already panicking. Uh, what we'll do, we'll just shout out to him and he can answer the questions. Um, so yeah, we got this uh, Scooby here. The body kit is called Angry Acorn Designs. It's absolutely bonkers. It's a paint job, so it's not a wrap, which is always nice. And it's anything being done to the engine? Uh, not much, but just the basic uh, cold air in intake and uh, decat straight right. pipe. So there you go. So decat so, straight pipe, cold air intake. Apparently this is the only one in Europe with this kit. So I think the guy's got balls of steels putting a body kit on like this and making it into this. This is you, you don't, you don't see many this. STIs with uh, a wide body kit. So no, what? At our last show, we had the uh, Mitsubishi with the wide yeah. body kit. This would look really cool beside it. So yeah, we'll keep an eye out for that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe so next time we do our event and that car's here, we know who that one belongs to. And now we know who you are with this one. That would be a really cool lineup. Yeah, head to head challenge. Head to head right? challenge, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the one that you like, isn't it? The, yeah, the, the uh, GR. GR Yaris. So one of my friends has just bought one of these and telling me all about them. Um, apparently a, a really cool bit of kit. So um, nothing. <laughs> So apparently it just shares the name of a Yaris. Everything else is totally, totally bespoke from the, from the Yaris to one of uh, the GR. Um, haven't been out in one of these, uh, but we'll try and find the owner of this and see if he'll take me for a quick hoon out. Yeah, most there. definitely. I think, I mean, uh, uh, hopefully we'll find the owner and he can correct me if I'm wrong, but the, this is a ground up rebuild. I mean, Toyota just literally threw the rule books out the window and said, hey, how do you make a track focused car for the road? And the Yaris, as you said, Bob, it just shares the name from behind, under the skin. They, they basically said, how can we make a Yaris cool? Yeah, ah, exactly. There, you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and all, all in all, what we've got here is something that is track focused for the road and a, a good bit of kit. All right, so Bob, I think we've got something special now that we wanted to go and check out, right? Yeah, let's go and check this um, Porsche out. Come on, follow us. So this has turned up today. Um, just been speaking to the fella. Uh, so let's call him over and have a chat with him um, and his journey of acquiring this. So here he is, okay, the man. Bob himself, nice uh, Shiraz, you, nice you to well? meet you. How are you, Bob? So, thanks for bringing this out today. It's a pleasure. Um, surprising with the weather that we had this morning that someone would bring this out and, and uh, no, thank I will you. Give it, I will give it a spit polish when I get in, don't worry. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so Shiraz, tell us more about this, your whole journey of acquiring it, um, what made you choose this colour, um, options that you went with? Yeah, yeah, cool. So, um, obviously I've been um, a customer for a long time, so shout out to Porsche Mayfair who have been uh, my dealer from the beginning. And um, So Porsche Mayfair, um, uh, I'm a really good friend of his, so when I come to uh, come into the showroom, right, I'm, I'm going to put my name down for yeah, one yeah, of these, yeah? Like, listen, Shiraz said. Shiraz sent me. <laughs> <laughs> they won't have any of it. Um, <laughs> no, so I've had a few cars in the past, G uh, 981 GT4, uh, GT3s. Um, and then my first new car from them was a 992 GT3. Right, okay. In shark blue and uh, loved it, it was an amazing car. And then there was someone who wanted to buy the car. Yeah. So they were like, oh, listen, if we give you a GT4 us, would you come out of that? Oh, I was sure. like, right, okay. Yeah, all right, why not? I might as well give it a go. <laughs> um, so I had the GT4 us for a year and a half and then I got the call um, to get this. And yes. Right. So tell us about the color then. Uh, yeah, so the color's called Azuro Thetis Metallic, right. which is basically a PTS color. Right, um, okay. Originally from Lamborghini, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, I've even met the chap in Saudi Arabia who first optioned the colour, and right. then um, you know Porsche have to go through their engineering to make sure it works with the paint, with the shapes, and all of that stuff. And um, the inspiration from the colour really was uh, Andres Preuninger, who's right. the head of the GT department for yeah. Porsche. He's done about three or four of his GT cars in this colourway, and I really love the way it looked. Nice. So I thought, yeah, why not give it a go? Give it a go, and it, and it really works. I think all the carbon. I think it really works. Um, so yeah, what are the, uh, so you've been with the whole spec, the Weissman spec. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what, what it comes with is a Weissack pack, which is all this exposed carbon really. Um, I've got ceramics, 
right. front axle lift. Yeah. Um, Got to have axle lift uh, in this country. In this country, without question. Um, definitely uh, reversing camera. Yeah. Uh, I've got. I was. I've got the Bose system that I don't think I've ever turned on. No, you just <laughs> you want to listen just, to the engine. You don't need to listen to the Bose system. They give you right. Yeah. So, um, and then I've started to change a few things. So I got the yellow stitching, yellow seat belts, all of that. But the decals have started to change. So I want them right. in silver. Yeah. To be like matching the wheels. Nice. So I've uh, done that, and yeah, everything else really. No, it's just time to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And have fun with it. No, exactly. You're going to track it. One hundred percent. Good. That's all it's for. Yeah, that's what it's for. That's what it's not for. It's not for a trip down to Tesco. So. <laughs> that's what half. The, that's what half the guys have probably told their wives this morning. Just going out for a pint of milk, and I'll be back in about an hour. <laughs> and they get, get a one get, liter. Yeah, get get one liter. Go go for a quick car show and a pint of milk. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Just don't forget the milk on the way home. Yeah, exactly. So Shreya, so on the car, what what are your call out points? What would you say are your bits that your favorite? If you could, if you could hone into a feature, a function. Uh, just something, some style, what would it be? I think some of the stuff that's really, really cool that's really hidden in the car is if you come to this side here, this side blade, it's actually got an indicator repeater that goes into this slide blade here. Oh, so wow. I'll turn that on and if you have a look. So Amazing. it's got a side repeater inside. That's a really, really that's cool. That's the little touches. That's yeah, the little, yeah, yeah. to keep it legal, yeah, by yeah, regulation, yeah. they put a side repeater and in the aero. best thing is someone sat there designing this. For, Someone's for been paid hundreds of thousands, right, to, to design that. A repeater. A in repeater the, that yeah. goes inside a pin. Um, but that's what Porsche are known for, right? These subtle details. And this is why you get a machine like this. Is it just, it's, just, uh, it's just precision engineering. That's the only way you can call it. And it's like how they, how they make something become a part of aero because now it's an aero element, yeah. rather than yeah. just being a side repeater. Every, everything on this car is functional. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, even the under trays are so far advanced and so um, you know, functional, it's, it's supposed to be something really amazing, the way they work. From their race car, pedigree, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They've been doing it for years, so. I so. think the one thing that would stand out for me if I was driving one of these, looking at that rear view mirror and seeing that huge spoiler on the back. Do you know what's funny? is this is the first car where the rear visibility is actually okay because right. the spoiler's higher <laughs> than the rear view mirror. It. They've thought so, about it. So you can actually see quite well, which is, which is quite odd. But it's cool. No, well, it's an amazing bit of kit. Any chance we can get a look inside? Just come on. Go for it. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, the cockpit. Yeah, so as you can tell, barely any miles done on it yet. So hopefully gonna run it in. But what we've got is contrast yellow stitching, everything's Alcantara. Um, obviously I had these houndstooth inserts uh, from one of my previous cars and the buckets are all the same. Another really smart thing they've got is the GPS tag nose lift. So, and this has been from the 992 generation, but if you're going past someone and you press the nose lift, yeah. they'll put a tag down, it's like, do you want to save this? So when I was coming down here, yeah. every time I'll come here, it will automatically lift, that's pretty cool. Oh wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. But I think one really familiar thing about this car, I think one thing that really does say this is a G GT3 RS is the back end of this vehicle. Um, obviously it's got active, the first, uh, first car with active DRS, so um, it's got a hydraulically actuated rear wing, so this upper element, you can change the angulation on racetrack so you can get DRS. It also acts as an air brake, so when you press on the brake hard enough, it closes and you can right. get up to 2G on braking. Oh wow. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, I mean, this small thing's exclusive design tail light, which makes the tail light clear instead of, you know, the red bar. Um, you know, and kind of through the kitchen sink it. You never know if you'll get one again. So you <laughs> yeah. just. You Why just, not? You, you got the chance. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it. You got to do that. Um, but no, Shiraz, thanks for well, uh, thanks a lot. having a chat with us. Thanks for getting this sorted for today. Cheers. Thanks.
All right, guys, with that, I think that comes to the end of the day. That's right? it. Wrapped it up. I finally got my coffee. <laughs> I've been I'm still waiting for mine. So you're still waiting for yours. I've got mine. And um, I think that's a wrap for today. Um, people are going. Um, we've had a chat with the uh, WCC guys. Indy, why are you walking off? Come in, say hi. And I've got my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys. All right, well, thank guys. you. See you next week. See you later.